Hi, welcome to Ethereal Mechanics video number 37. This is the second part of electrogravity. In video 35 we showed that the cause of gravity was massive bodies consuming the ether causing ether to accelerate toward the massive body. In this video I'm going to show the, the effect of gravity is electromagnetic induction. So let's recap the cause of gravity. We have a mass that consumes ethons, both pairs, positive and negative. That's due to the positive, the negative charges consuming the positive ethons and the positive charges consuming the negative ethons. Okay, now that's the cause. We're going to demonstrate the effect. Um, now this is only a gateway model. Okay, see the last video if, if you didn't catch what a gateway model is. And we're using new electromagnetism for this. And, and we're, the effect, we're going to demonstrate the effect with new electromagnetism models and using the new electromagnetism electron model. Now these are only gateway models. Um, as we get into the pretonic models, we're going to improve on that and make things a little bit more accurate. But this will at least show you what's going on. So what's the new electron, new electromagnetism electron model? That is two like charges, two negative charges in orbit about each other at the speed of light. If you want to go to details, you can find the documents that do the exhaustive derivations of this model. And basically the way this works, let's say this electron is caught in a gravitational field so now you have ether accelerating in this direction toward the earth okay and what this says is the force on Q2 from Q1 is the acceleration of Q1 times the two masses inverse the distance and K amps. In other words as this guy is accelerating through the ether that way because the ether is accelerating it's going to generate a force this way on this guy and likewise, because this guy is accelerating through the ether, it's going to generate a force like this on the other guy. Okay, so what we can do, instead of looking at the force, we can just say, well, this is F equals MA. Okay, divide both sides by acceleration to get the mass of one of the tons, and that would be Km times Q over R. But the total, since it's going to be two of them, we're going to multiply by two. Okay, and what we're going to do for the new electromagnetism electron, the charges are one half the standard charge of an electron, and the radial distance between them, R is not the radius of the circle, it's the radial distance, is one half of the classical electron radius. Okay, so we put those in. We put uh, the charge of an electron over 2 and divide by and substitute the classical electron uh, radius over 2. And I, I realize that they say the classical electron radius is a radius, but it's really a diameter. Um, anyway, and then so we divide that out. We're, this is what we get for the mass of an electron. And if we go in and plug in real values. This, remember we did this in EMV uh, video 15 and we plug the, the QE, the standard charge for an electron in, it's classical electron radius for the distance and Km which is mu over 4 pi which is 2 times n minus We end up with a calculated value for the quote unquote mass of an electron to be this. And the measured value is this. So we are one significant digit better. So simple, even a physicist can do it. But this is just the beginning. These are only the gateway models, and more gateway models on the way. Uh, what's coming in later videos, we're going to show the electric and magnetic fields must be split into emission and coupling models to properly model ethereal mechanics. This means that the constants must be split as well. Ke, Km, and G. And then we can show that Kg, which all the other, they use just G, is a synthesis of both Ke and Km plus some other stuff. So what's next? We're going to show the antimatter effect, then we're going to show the ghost in the ethers, and I'm still looking for other things I can release. Um, but if you didn't catch what was going on, let me just recap this video. 
is massive bodies consume ether, causing ether to accelerate toward the massive body. A electron, which is a pair of charges in orbit about each other, are going to be in that accelerating field. And because this body is accelerating this way, it's going to cause a earthward force on this guy this way. And because this guy is accelerating this way relative to the ether, it's going to induce a force on this guy this way. And that force is going to be equivalent to the mass of an electron. And again, if you want uh, to see that with more detail uh, written down, you can go to uh, newgravity.pdf and see that in more detail. Later on, though, we're going to be doing the uh, preton models. It'll look almost the same for the electron. Anyway, thank you. Uh, donate if you can. Get the word out. If you subscribe, you get the videos when they come out. I don't know what my video production schedule is. It all depends on when the new math construct comes out. I'm trying to find other things I can release early. Anyway, thank you. Goodbye.